So that was our diet. We're going to go over our training diet. Training diet, simple. And this is just exercise, right? We're not talking about high level movement. We're not talking about, you know, like health besides just like, what are you doing during the day? Now, um, there are three systems, three general systems. The first one, ATP, PC, or the phosphocreatine system. It's that extreme short power, like throwing a punch as hard as you can into a bag. Um, med balls are great for this, which we did on a different DVD. Um, and that DVD goes way more into kind of this, this training diet. Today, we're going to be talking a lot about movement. But just in general, right, we have that. And that's like box jumps. It, there's a very, very small threshold to train that. So you only have so much of this energy, this phosphocreatine in your system that can be used at one time. So to build the reservoir, it takes the longest to do. So you want to hit a couple of those every day, just like jump every day as high as you can a couple times. You know, throw something super light really fast a couple times. You know, throw a couple punches into a bag, maybe take a couple sh shots on the mat, excuse me. Um, just to keep that, keep that fresh. Uh, the second one, and, and this is kind of like basic, right? You have your aerobic and your anaerobic. We'll kind of split it up into that just for simplicity's sake. Cause it's, we don't need to go through the Krebs cycle and all that crazy crap. Um, that's really not that complex. You can get that complex, but it's not that complex. Um, the right one, your aerobic system is you exercising while replenishing that system with air right? With oxygen. Your anaerobic is what you can do without oxygen. So the ATP PC system is part of that, but it's different than like a lactic part. So, so we do separate the two. So your, your lactic work, get on the assault bike, swim, do the intervals sucks. This is the work that's going to be the worst. Um, no one likes doing lactic work, but it seems to be one of the biggest definers of success. It's that 70% intensity that you maintain for a period of time where you interval and it's going to bring your heart into much healthier position. It's, it's very, very important. And then the aerobic work is, should be essentially like a really high level drilling class, right? You're moving almost like you're dancing very slow, very methodical, um, you know, taking an easy jog for a long period of time. It's kind of at that 50 or 40% intensity and you want to run the system at all. Um, at all different ranges, uh, you know, I hate car analogies, but when you break in a, break in a motor, right, you have to run it at all the different RPMs so that the motor's used to running at all those RPMs. It's kind of similar, um, you know, with a human body, you can't take it apart and put it back together. So the analogies never really work because the system's really integrated, but it is a good, just, just way to think about that in general at a low level. Um, so for, for, right, for those three, you want to hit the lactic one is the most important. Um, ATP PC is super easy to hit. So I don't put it as important. I put the middle one as important, the lactic, that middle one, because, because everyone hates doing it, but it's probably the highest level of importance. And there's kind of like an outlier here. That's really important to talk about. And we're going to go over it more in movement, but isometric tension. Most of what we do in grappling, different than striking. Striking's mostly concentric, eccentric. There's very little isometric, right? Concentric and eccentric, to break it down for you guys. Concentric is the muscle is shortening as it's activating. Eccentric is the muscle is lengthening as it's activating. Isometric is just muscle turning on and staying in place. Um, and you have a couple different types of isometric contractions, but in general, isometric contractions are very, very good especially as you get, you know, as you're training into your, like your later life, because they increase the amount of ten, uh, tenderness tissue that your body creates. And they, they, um, so in the muscle, there's like all these fibers that go through it. If you think about like Twizzlers wrapped in Saran wrap, wrapped with more Twizzlers in Saran wrap, that Saran wrap stuff, which is like your Achilles tendon, your patellar tendon, all your ligaments, that ACL that we all love so much and that heel hookers love the most. Um, you know, that stuff is made out of uh, this, this, this tissue that's very, very hard to recover. It's not, it's living, but it doesn't have tons of blood flow. Um, and so those isometric tension exercises help build that system 
and kind of give you more like bounce, give you more tension, uh, kind of keep everything together better and, and, um, hydrated better. So we'll go over and we've, I've done isometrics in other videos that you can check out as well. There's one that's mostly on isometrics, um, but really, really important for your training diet. Um, but that hits, that hits all the things that you should have.